Northwest Air Guns here. We're talking with uh, Tyler Patner, who is a regular contributor on the GTA forum. Tyler's also, what are you with uh, Air Venturi? Air Venturi, yeah, Air Venturi and Pyramid Air. And what's your position here? I am sales representative. All right, and Tyler's uh, going to present the new uh, field target rifle from Air Arms. So, yeah. can we take a look at that? Yeah. Take us through some of the features. This is the HFT 500. HFT 500, brand new from Air Arms. This is actually replacing the um, S400 MPR FT. So it's a 12 foot pound gun. Um, they've included a new air stripper on this gun, so it should deaden the shot cycle a good bit. Um, you have a Lothar Walther barrel on it, so you know you're going to get the very best when it comes to accuracy as well. Um, they have changed the breech out. The gun used to be a bolt action. Now it's a side lever. Very, very nice, very easy to use. Now, obviously, biggest part, laminate stock, uh, gorgeous laminate. You do have the adjustable cheek piece, which is not only adjustable for height, but it's also adjustable for angle as well. Right. Um, and then you have the adjustable butt pad up and down. Uh, one new feature on this gun, uh, the trigger is actually a button style trigger, as we like to call it. But what's very cool about it, actually, is you can actually take this, turn it around if you do prefer a flat end and you can use it that way as well. So you can have the, the curved feel or you can have a flat feel if you prefer that style as well. And this is five ways adjustable. You can go down to about, about four ounces on it or so safely. Um, but the gun's unregulated at 12 foot pounds, which is about 800 feet per second with an eight grain pellet. Um, you're still looking about 65 to 70 good shots out of it. that are gonna be 15 feet per second or so. Is this a, a target rifle or is this a hunting gun? Well, it can be used as both, actually. That's kind of the nice thing about it, is they put it in uh, the stock that's been used on the Ultimate Sporter, so you do get that Sporter feel for it, but you do also get things like your on-shoots rail underneath, which is you know gonna be for your target accessories if you wanted to put what they call a hamster in the UK or a knee riser, as we would call it here in the US, um, under there so you can get into better position if you're gonna shoot seated. Um, but this is really predominantly gonna be used on the hunter field target scene in the UK, which they do more prone kneeling, you know, it's really, uh, it's more hunting simulation than actual field target is, um, where you're using a lot of your physical terrain to set up your shots. The barrel is free floated, is that right? It is, yeah. And um, that was uh, one of the other new features, thanks for mentioning it. Um, yeah, they actually removed the barrel band on this model, so it is free floated now and should give phenomenal accuracy. Right, I think so. Yeah. What do you think this, uh, is going to be available or is it well, available it already? is already available yeah we just got the first shipment in uh, about two weeks ago now um so this one's retailing right now at about fifteen hundred dollars um, and ready to go out the door into folks's hands cool northwest air guns here we're with gene salvino from air venturi or pyramid air and uh, he's going to talk about the new fwb sporter rifle the brake barrel so gene what do we have all right how you doing john pretty good all right, what well, we have fine work by, as you recall, for quite a few years, they have probably what I consider to be the, the best spring rifle ever made as far as a sporting spring rifle, and that was the old 124 Sport. A lot of people have been, you know, talking over the years, talking to them, as we have too, with fine work by, hey, can you bring back another spring gun? Right. And they, they sort of reluctant to because they were so specialized in the target PCPs. No right. interest mm -hmm. in it. We finally... They were going to bring it back, and uh, the reincarnation is called the Fine Work by Sport. Well, let's take a look at it. Yeah. Now, what they did with this rifle was, on the original rifle, it had a little bit smaller diameter of a tube, mm -hmm. and uh, a couple different things. Um, the piston seal is different on these new guns. It's a different kind of seal that sort of floats and centers itself in the tube. A little different design. Uh, the mainspring is different. They also changed the, the trigger modules a little different, how it comes apart. It's very similar, but they made a lot of design changes to the inside of the gun. Uh, they also changed the stock, but one thing I really, really like, I'm more traditional, I like sights on a gun more than a scope. Right. And when you bring this gun up, your cheek is right there, as you can see the comb. It's perfect for shooting with the sights. Right, now is this, and, a, this is a new trigger too, isn't it? Uh, yes, compared yes. Compared to the old one? Yes, it's much cleaner, much crisp. If, if you look and watch on this, you might even get to hear the sear break. You get your take up and, well, we get the safety up there. There we go. So you see my take up there and very crisp. Beautiful yeah. trigger. Very, very nice sporting trigger. Um, uh, no excuses with this one. All right. And uh, It's only in 177? Only in 177. And one thing that they did do, they have 
it's a lot more powerful than the original one. The original one was a max of about 800 feet per second. This one's about 930 out of the box to 950. You know, depending, everyone's a little different until you break it in. And these are so. all FWB parts. These everything are all FWB. Everything is done by FWB. They wind their own springs. They make their own sears. Right. Um, you know, on the wood, I'm not sure of, but I know that the popular folks with the wood now are Minelli out of Italy. Yeah. Uh, they supply air arms, too. That, I don't know if that's Minelli or not, but most likely it is just due to the price of the wood, you know. And that, and, that's uh, a true ambidextrous stock. Yeah. It is absolutely a truly ambidextrous sock. You know, you can bring it up both eyes. It's, uh, I love how this rifle feels and yeah. points. It's a beautiful rifle. Yeah, really you a know, classic. It reeks of quality, you know, and it's, uh, it's a little bit pricey, but it, I think it's worth it. It's, well, let's, it's let's pride of ownership it. piece. Yeah. What, what do you think this is retailing for? Uh, these are retailing about nine hundred dollars. Yeah, they're up there. Yep. Yeah, for a spring gun, it's pricey when you consider TXs are a couple hundred below that. Right. And uh, now the, you mentioned the seal inside. Yeah. Are you talking parachute seal or? Some it other? is a parachute style seal. It's made out of best I can ascertain some kind of a urethane, so it's not going to degrade like the old original nylon seals did. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, Gene. So, well, thanks for taking a minute. And sure, it's a beautiful rifle. Yes, um, it is. Going to have to sell some other ones, I guess. That's right. <laughs> Make up Probably had to sell a few to buy one of these, yeah, but exactly. it's uh, it's definitely uh, the only kid in the block of one, you know. Northwest Air Guns here with uh, Pavel Folabach from uh, JSB Pellets, and they have something coming out that I'm very excited about. And Pavel, can you tell us about the new premium pellet? Yeah, this new premium pellet is uh, made for uh, serious competitors, uh, especially for bench rest, field target and hunting field target shooters. That really demands the highest quality because uh, the precision of uh, their shooting is what they desire and what they really want the most. And uh, with the new machine we, which we just uh, got for, for production, uh, we could guarantee the maximum tolerance or the, uh, the minimum tolerance of weight uh, and it's plus minus 1,000 of a gram. Uh, okay, let's stop right there. Uh, can you say that again? 1,000 of a gram. Yeah, okay, that's it. not much. So every pellet will be within plus or minus one one thousand of a gram. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, this is How are you able to do that? Yeah, there is a very precise scale in this machine, sorting each uh, and every pellet. The process is quite slow. Uh, it takes over three seconds to weight just one to, to each and every pellet. And uh, there is around 50% of, of rejection of re rejected pellets, which are not able to meet the quality standard for the premium line. We have a very solid and very precise packaging for those pellets so we make sure they won't get damaged on the way to the customer, to the shooter. Each and every pellet is inserted into its, its own place in a styrofoam plate and packed into the plastic, plastic can so they really arrive in perfect conditions. Excellent. And are, are, are you making these pellets now? Are they available? Yeah, they are fully available at the moment. We started the production two, three weeks ago. And uh, I believe uh, our U.S. distribution channels will have them within a few weeks here. It would be great to have them in time for the uh, field target season coming up this summer. This is all off of a, a new machine. You're not making any other pellets on this machine but the premium, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. We make only the premium line of pellets. There are two types of the premium. One is for the 10 meter target shooters and the other for the longer distances, FT, HFT, and bench rest shooters. Okay. And great, as far as uh, it's a premium pellet, um, how do you expect the pricing to uh, take place with this? Yeah, the price is, uh, of course, a little higher, but uh, the, the can of 200 pieces uh, will cost approximately the same as uh, the regular tins of 500 pellets. So that really makes uh, the pricing different, but uh, for the top shooters, I believe this is the really choice number one because uh, there is nothing else that could uh, 
that could provide them with the same accuracy than the... And wh what is the weight on these? The weight on these is 8.44 grain, okay. which is the middle, uh, middle weight or the standard weight for, one seven, for our 177 domit exact uh, pellet. Okay, excellent. Well, I'm going to look forward to seeing these uh, come into the market. Um, and I'm gonna, if it makes me a better shooter, I'll pay a little more for them. So, <laughs> okay. great. Well, thank you very much, Pavel. Thank you as well.